Good afternoon, I'm Heather Guerreri, CEO of Compass Regional Hospice, and we are here today at our resale shop in the Kent Town Market in Chester, Maryland, Estate Treasures. And we're going to tell you about some of our volunteer opportunities for volunteering at Estate Treasures and with our hospice organization. Our volunteers are the heart. Um, they become um, bonded with us. It's a, it's a deep friendship. Some of our uh, volunteers we have had for many, many years. I retired from the medical field about eight years ago, and it was on my bucket list to volunteer for uh, hospice. My, both my parents went through hospice, and it was absolutely awesome. So I wanted, as everybody else, wanted to give back. Well, my mother um, was sick. She had dementia, and then it started progressing in 2010. So I decided to call hospice uh, in 2010. So when I retired in 2011, I decided that I wanted to become a hospice volunteer because when they came to the house, I mean, they were just wonderful with my mother. They were like guardian, guardian angels. And I said, I just want to be a part and I want to be a volunteer to give back to the community because they were just so wonderful to my mother. So we have volunteers here at Estate Treasures. We have our vigil volunteers. We have patient volunteers. We have volunteers that sew memory bears out of a loved one's clothing that passed away that we can give back as a keepsake to the family. Um, we have people that answer the phone. And we now have started having greeters at our hospice center. So we're always looking for greeters from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock. And at Estate Treasures brings uh, annually about $100,000 back to Compass uh, for patient care. I love it here. We have wonderful families. I'm all excited because I like dressing men and we have a wonderful men's department here. Uh, we also have housewares, we have, you know, pocketbooks, we have our designer section, as Robin says. And now we're right in the midst of a great fashion show. I've been doing the fashion show for about eight years, and this year we're kind of pulling all three of our counties together. We're going to model everything from evening gowns to uh, summer clothes. We sell Tommy Bahama, we sell all the name brand things. We've been in business for 29 years, Hospice Estate Treasures. At 25th anniversary, we donated over $2 million from estate treasures to hospice. Well, we have a total of 306 volunteers. The volunteers also do um, bereavement, grief services, and we have our Camp New Dawn annually. You know, it, it's very rewarding. You will not regret it. I have some friends that say, I don't know how you can sit with people that are sick and dying, but like Robin and Heather said, you don't have to sit with patients. It's paperwork that can be done. You can make phone calls. It's so many things you can do. I didn't want to work in the state treasures, you know. I wanted to sit with the patients. Well, everyone is not bedridden. Some patients are up walking around. I mean, you can't always look at a person and think, oh, they're well or they're sick. You can't tell by the outside. But, you know, some patients are up walking around, some patients are, are bedridden, but sometimes you just can give, give them a, a drink of water or fix them a sandwich, and they're just so appreciative. For more information on hospice, you can call 443-262-4100, or you can visit our website at www.compassregionalhospice.org. You won't regret it. it. It's a it's a great feeling. I mean, this isn't this is I don't get paid for doing this, but it's more rewarding than when I worked for the state for 38 years and got a paycheck. Awesome time to shop. Volunteer. Oh yeah, we would love to have you.